Of all the theories behind Krista's murder, and there are many of them, the one that attracts the most attention involves her diary. It wasn't just your everyday ho-hum diary. It was a listing of all of her intimate encounters with some of the most recognizable figures of the day. The idea of a diary started innocently enough when Krista was a young teen. Her childhood friend Darlene Thorison explains. When we were teenagers, we, we kept a book and it was called our personal boy list guys that we went out with or dated around Christmas time I think she had come back to Milwaukee and she bought me a round trip ticket that um, my Christmas present to join her while she was living in New York she <laughs> she lived a very wealthy wealthy lifestyle she had lots lots of gowns and furs and jewelry. At that time, I, I questioned her, you know, how, how did you get all this? That was when I, I found out that she was keeping this diary. She joked when I, I was in New York with her that this was her personal boy list. Did you recognize names on her list? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, these were some heavy hitters at the time. The contents of Krista's diary have long been rumored to include a list of famous names, including Jack Nicholson, Joe Namath, Warren Beatty, Ryan O'Neill, Desi Arnaz Jr., Engelbert Humperdinck, Mick Jagger, Michael Sarazen, George Hamilton, and perhaps most notably, the Shah of Iran. Could her murder have been committed by one of the names documented in that diary? Krista often spoke of writing a tell-all book based on the diary. Towards the end of her life, Krista was reportedly in the process of writing her book. She was living primarily with her roommate Stephanie off Sunset Boulevard, but she was also a frequent guest at the home of a man named Rudy Mazella. She stored the pages of her book and other personal items in Rudy's garage for safekeeping. This was according to Rudy's wife at the time, Mary Jane Mazella, who I spoke with in 2021. Mary Jane claimed that on the night of Krista's murder, someone broke into their garage and stole only Krista's possessions, including the pages of her book. The diary and the work-in-progress manuscript have never been recovered.